What's up guys, in the last video we got the Radice on the dyno and made some boost and then also yesterday Brent and Emilio took Hondru out and they got it kind of ripping and today we went and picked up some new tires for Hondru so she's going to be getting some new meats put on her and they have a tire machine and balancer over here so we're just going to be able to do all of it right here, yeah, get so her a new set. James, uh, we were talking yesterday about tires and he's, he actually had these already sitting uh, in their in their shop so he gave us these two and then he ordered these from a local shop gearhead yesterday and they came in today so yeah ready to take these off and put on something that'll give us more traction because yep. we spun these just with the stock motor so yeah that, it was spinning bad motor. yeah it's the clip in the intro it's like Arr! yeah spinning the it tires fun, all bad but spinning ain't winning nope so yeah we basically got buy one get one free since james had two he just let us have so huge shout out to james for those then we just picked those up today and yeah let's go ahead and get these on there and you wanted to paint the wheels too as well yeah, we also grabbed black paint so while i have the tires off i'm just gonna scuff them all up good and then get some black on there just to clean them up some nice and these wheels are pretty heavy but this is what we got for now and later on we'll find some some lighter 17s because in order for me to even put anything smaller than 17s on here i'm gonna have to change the whole brake setup because the brimbos are too big and you can't fit anything smaller than 17 so but she'll definitely have way more traction with these yep these radials are going to do a lot better than the street tires for yeah, sure they the guy who was it, uh, funky built when they ran their 97 in colorado they were using these so nice they hook pretty good oh yeah come on rookie you haven't <laughs> done this in like 10 years bro <laughs> <laughs> easy you're gonna rip the bead. Hold on. It's stuck. Okay. I feel like I'm in a sweatshop. Going black. It'll look better. Yeah, I think it's gonna look good like that. A good old rattle cam paint job on the wheels. Yeah, it'll be And you told me you wouldn't plastic dip them. I don't know how this is any better than that. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I've taken plastic dip off of rims and it freaking sucks so i'm like ah uh, i'd rather just spray them later on yeah we just sandblast them and just powder coat them you know all right that one's done <laughs> <laughs> that good old rattle can job walking buff <laughs> that's what that's called it's so shiny you can't even see yeah it. we're just not going to show the couple runs jamie hey, hey, got why you, bro, no, don't do it. The camera's too close, the camera's too close. <laughs> these are 10 footers yeah. 10 footers on this job here James is getting the last one. It's like art class right now. Yeah, bro, we all had this. We're all playing outside. I'm pretty sure everyone here has spray painted their fair share of wheels in their <laughs> oh day. My God. You know what you should have done? Huh. If you were a smart man, is you would have set the tires on them, but not beaded them, then painted it. So then all you got to do is beat the tire. And you got to worry about the tire. Now you want to now you want to say it while you're almost done painting that wheel. I was just letting you know. That's what a wise man would have done. <laughs> that is a good idea, not gonna lie. This guy has how many years? Five years of discount tire? I just added a few years for you. <laughs> Let's we'll see what he does. It's alright, if I scratch him then Whatever. spray paint him again. Just sharpie the edges. Don't zoom in too hard. Yeah, yeah, don't zoom in too hard. Back up, man. <laughs> so just like from back here? Yeah, they look good from right here. The camera makes everything look good, bro. <laughs> they look fine on the camera. They're perfect. They're perfect. For sale. Good job. <laughs> New black STI wheels, fresh from the powder coat shop. But once these dry off, you can go ahead and get those radials mounted up. Put the wheels on. Get them back on the car. Yeah, I'm gonna bleed the brakes real quick while the wheels are off. And then get them back on the car and maybe go for another cruise. Yeah, I wanna ride in it. All right. Let's go rip that thing around. What up, Ricky? Yes. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? How you been? Good, good, good. Living, staying quarantined. Yeah, you enjoying this Ricky, quarantine he life? He doesn't need yeah. to get out just in case. He's been in the house, bro. He's been working at the house. Ezzy's been working been safe. Home. Yep. Got to keep Ezzy yeah. at home. This color follows him for life. I know. <laughs> We've had this color for a really long time. Too long, bro. High school. Oh, okay. Just in case, you know, you know what gear you're in right there or what? <laughs> the little indicator? Yeah, I, don't, I didn't even show that yet. Emilio got his gear indicator. Installed right there. You gotta let them know. Is your car about ready? Yeah, my car's done. Oh, is it? Yeah, ready for Friday? They, ready. they got it ready last night. Yeah, I got it ready last night. Oh, yeah. That, she did everything yesterday. That Scheduled dog box. Change. Yeah, I got a dog box, Liberty Housing. Looking for the turbo? Yeah, bro. 
<laughs> you just take his whole head. <laughs> Ready to go. Damn, bro. It's nice. Have you even seen this thing in person? No, I haven't. You even want to have the other engine in it? Yeah, when I, when I had the other motor in it, yeah. The turbo's bigger than Ezra. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee it weighs more than Ezra. No, really. <laughs> You gotta keep him away. It might suck him up when we start it up. <laughs> What's up? See how it feels? A little bit, not too much. I'm still working on getting the shifter installed right now because the shifter is just kind of dangling on the floor. So right now I'm building the bracket for it that actually holds it up in the right spot. Oh, okay. So I'm just working on that. But it made 460 last night on gate, nine pounds. Nine pounds. So should be real fun at like 30 or 40. Papa John's. The Papa John's, yeah, that's Cooper's. <laughs> I took the tires off and painted the rims black. They're sitting outside. Oh, I'm sure those look good, great, don't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, they look amazing. They're definitely ten footers. Ten footers? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look good from back here. Amelia doesn't want me to keep filming the wheels. Wait, they look really good when I walk out of the door. Yeah. yeah. Questionable. <laughs> My boy even did the valve stems and all. Everything, everything <laughs> is painted, bro. The old weights. All of them. Everything. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to even... Now when they take those old ones off, it's going to be a nice little shiny strip. Yeah. I don't have to even balance them, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Bam. He's walking already. They're going to watch Ezra grow up. Oh, look at him. Go, Ezra, go. Go, Ezra, go. Future blue hatch driver. Going, yeah, it's him. Future hot driver. now. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah. You dip there. That was his first <laughs> No, no. <laughs> That's his first job. angle. There you go. The foil grass, though. There you go. It's crazy though, it's just like it happens like that quick. Like they're trying to walk and then they're almost walking and then they're, they're running everywhere. It's like there's, it's just happens so quick. I figured it'd come a little slower, but no. Dad life. Yeah. So now every single time, anywhere you go in the house, you just turn around and he's like, Phew. he's right there. You walk over here, Phew. right there. I keep forgetting we just need to start calling you Rick instead Rick, of Ricky. Well, you know, it's written down. Right. There they are, Honda's new Mickey Thompson's with custom powder-coated black wheels. Yeah. Mounted and balanced, all ready to go. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, they look way better. They look black. pretty good, honestly. They're not bad at all. We were making a lot of jokes that the rattle can looks bad, but it actually looks pretty good. Dang, dude. The black wheels look good. Way better, huh? That looks good. Oh, hold on. I'm missing something. What'd I do with those? Oh, can't the finishing forget, touches? You can't forget the center caps, brother. Even the center caps are black. They match. The BBS. There it is. Now. Nah, missing a lug nut on that wheel? Hey, it's all good. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna buy some. Missing a lug nut because he deleted the wheel locks. Yeah, I didn't want to keep fetching the key. But those look good, dude. Oh, yeah, man. The black looks so good, especially with some tire shine on there. Clean off this dirt. Yeep! Yeah. Hondry's yeah. looking nice. Let's get this thing lowered down. Like, those silver rims are bothering me so bad. Yeah, dude, the black looks amazing. Got the meats on there, the radials. She's gonna be hooking up now. Yeah, look there at that. There she is. It looks so much better with the so black much wheels. better, whoa. Dude, that looks good. That looks really good. Came out awesome. That looks awesome. We just went and took Hondru for a drive 
and all seemed good but it started to make a noise and it seems like it has something to do with the clutch uh, yesterday when Brent was driving it with Emilio everything was working perfect as you guys saw it was making some power through the gears and it was working good uh, for the first couple stop and goes but then the noise slowly started to get worse and now it makes this really bad almost kind of grinding rubbing noise we're not sure what it is and the clutch engages almost instantly there is no slip to the pedal once it grabs it just goes and if you're not giving it enough gas it just instantly stalls the car and uh, we got it up on the lift right now because we're going to try to take a listen to it i don't think we really filmed too much of the noise because i kind of put the camera down so we could actually focus on the car um but yeah, we got it back over here and now we're gonna try to figure out what this noise might be. There might be a chance we have to pull the motor out and take a look at the uh, clutch. So I didn't hear anything too unusual with it up on the lift. It's probably because it's not trying to push the weight of the car. Uh, got it all the way up now and while he has it in gear I'm just gonna take a look at the flywheel because we can kind of see it through this little gap right here Just want to make sure everything's spitting straight and that nothing looks uh, Unusual you can actually see the clutch right back through there So he's gonna fire it up and I'm just gonna take a look at that with the flashlight while it's spinning getting the wheels to spin to load it hold the e-brake hard and then slowly let up the clutch yeah do that again I don't know if I got it on camera, but it sparked on one of them. The clutch did? Yeah, like a spark came out from where the clutch was. And a little bit of something like hit me in the face. Oh, damn. All right. Yeah. Let's do the pull the motor and we'll check it out. Check the clutch. Yeah, motor's gonna have to come out, guys. <laughs> something sparking under there. So he was just holding e brake right there to kind of load it up. And you can kind of hear that crunching sound. It should not be making that noise. And I don't know if I got it on the GoPro, but it definitely flung. Uh, spark out from where the clutch is so something in there is not right and we don't want to keep driving it like this Obviously with the nice transmission and stuff. We don't want to mess up like the billet input shaft So we are going to play it safe and uh, just kind of pull the motor out of this thing and take a look at it Well, everything was going smooth today got the new wheels painted, you know the so new really tires good. It's looking nice, but Fortunately, it doesn't really go anywhere too good yeah. right now something sparking underneath I mean, it seems like it drives fine once like we get out of first. Yeah, once it's not moving, or once it like, starts to move, yeah, it's fine. Once it's already moving. But something is definitely not right. Um, I actually looked back at the footage and I did catch the spark on camera. Yeah, it was, pretty, it pretty was a pretty bad spark. spark. Not supposed to be doing that. Yeah, that is not normal. But you know, we're trying to do something different. We do have a K-Series in an STI and she has worked flawlessly in the past before. This thing has definitely ripped, yeah. so. Just there is, setup, I guess. yeah, there's definitely a way to have it all done and right, but you know, new tranny and stuff, stuff might just be a little off. We're not going to know until we can kind of pull it out and see if maybe the input shaft isn't reaching all the way through uh, all three discs because it does have a triple disc clutch in it. Maybe something's not lined up right. We're really not going to be able to tell unless we kind of pull this thing out and just look at it. You know, it does suck, but it's the race car life, and especially when we're trying to do stuff different, we have to get custom parts made. It's one of a kind, no one else is doing this swap in an STI or any other Subarus for that matter. So yeah, it's definitely a learning curve, but we're gonna keep going at it. So I guess first thing tomorrow, we're gonna have to get this motor ripped out. Thankfully the motor comes out nice and easy. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. I'll just have to pull the wiring out real quick and yeah, take it out and inspect everything, make, make sure everything is good, see what's going on. But unfortunately we do not have enough time tonight to do it because it is starting to get late. Yeah, we was, we were working on stuff all day and we were about to go on a drive to go rip it around and really start dialing it in, but then that noise started happening. So is what it is, boys. Two days. Well, really tomorrow and then the next day is the, our track day, our private track day. So. Yeah, we're not hopefully sure how it's can, looking. Yeah, hopefully just we yet. can figure it out by then. 
because I really want to take it down the track to feel it, but I'm not going to take it down the track like this. And yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not a smart idea to do that. Yeah, there's, as you guys That know, transmission is worth money. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to be don't just wanna sending it for no reason. Yeah. We'll get it right, though. We'll yeah. We're, we're not giving up on Honduru, boys. So, it is unfortunate, but we're going to get at it tomorrow and get it ripped out. We don't stop. Just got to keep going and get it figured out. So that is going to be it for today's video. So ending on a sad note, but at least it looks good. <laughs> at least it looks mean. It looks fast. I mean, it looks good. The parts list looks good. It might not drive so good yet. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get there. But we'll see you later, guys.